Hi, welcome. Today we will discuss the point bond enthalpy or bond energy. Now see, when a bond between two atoms is formed, there is a release of energy. The same amount of energy is absorbed when the bond is broken. Now look at me. Suppose for example, if we consider formation of hydrogen molecule H2 from two hydrogen atoms. Okay, so that two hydrogen atoms together forms a H2 molecule. Now when they form a bond, there is a release of energy. Okay, and when that hydrogen hydrogen bond undergo cleavage or it breaks, then there is a absorption of energy or energy is absorbed for the breaking of that hydrogen hydrogen bond. So the bond energy is defined as the average amount of energy required to break all bonds of a particular type in one mole of the substance. So what is the definition of bond energy? Bond energy is defined as the average amount of energy required to break all bonds of a particular type in one mole of the substance. For example, the bond energy of hydrogen hydrogen bond is the energy required to break all the bonds in one mole of the gas. Okay, so it is expressed in kilocalorie per mole. The bond energy is expressed in the unit kilocalorie per mole or kilojoule per mole. For example, the bond energy of hydrogen hydrogen bond is 433 kilojoule per mole or 103.58 kilocalorie per mole. Okay, so this is the bond energy of hydrogen 433 kilojoule per mole or 103.58 kilocalorie per mole. Again, in this table, some bonds and their bond energy is given. So this is about the definition of bond energy. Now, the bond energy is a measure of strength of the bond. Okay, so bond energy gives us the strength of the bond, whether that bond is stronger or weaker, we can predict it from the bond energy. In other words, bond energy is the force with which the atoms are bonded together. It is nothing but the force. Bond energy is nothing but the force with which the atoms are bonded together. Now, the bond energy depends upon the size of the atom. So, when we consider any single bond, which atoms are involved in that bonding? What is the size of that atoms? It affects bond energy. Then electronegativity of that atoms also affects the bond energy. And third important factor is bond length. So size of the atom, electronegativity, bond length, on these factors bond energy depends. Now what is the use of bond energy values. So uh, we have to consider here one problem but uh, before that problem we will see what is the use of bond energy values. Heat of reaction can be calculated from the bond energy data. When we have bond energy data, the bond energy of various bonds, we can calculate heat of reaction from that data. The following formula can be used. See the formula delta H reaction that is heat of reaction is equal to summation of bond energies of reactants. So we have to do summation of bond energies of reactants. If we have two reactants then we have to take summation of bond energies of that two uh, molecules minus summation of bond energies of products. So this is the formula. Now we will see one problem based on calculation of bond energy. See, calculate the enthalpy change for the reaction. Reaction is given H2 gas plus Br2 gas 
it will form two HBr gas, two moles of HBr gas. Given that the bond energy of PHH hydrogen hydrogen bond is 435 kilojoule per mole, bromine bromine bond 192 kilojoule per mole, and hydrogen bromine bond 364 kilojoule per mole respectively. So this is the very simple problem. We can solve it by two methods. First method is very simple by calculating the total energy absorbed and released. So energy absorbed in the dissociation of one mole of hydrogen hydrogen bond. Our reactants are H2 and Br2. Okay. So the energy absorbed in the dissociation of one mole of hydrogen hydrogen bond is given 435 kilojoule. Okay. Now energy absorbed in the dissociation of one mole of Br Br bond is given 192 kilojoule. So total energy absorbed in the dissociation of reactants is 435 plus 192 that is 627 kilojoule. Okay, this is the total energy absorbed in the dissociation of reactants. Now energy released in the formation of products there is a 2 moles of HBr. Energy released in the formation of 1 mole of HBr is given 364 kilojoule per mole. Now for 2 moles we have to multiply by 2. So we get 728 kilojoule energy. Now the total energy absorbed is 627 kilojoule and total energy released is 728 kilojoule. So energy released is greater than the energy absorbed. What is our conclusion? Energy released is greater than the energy absorbed. Hence, net result is the release of energy as it is greater. So, net result is the release of energy. So, energy released is equal to 728 kilojoule minus 627 kilojoule is equal to 101. Thus, for the given reaction, delta H value comes minus 101 kilojoule. Why minus sign? Because energy is released negative sign is there because energy is released therefore delta H value is minus 101 kilojoule. So this is the first method by calculating the total energy absorbed and total energy released and second method by using the formula directly. So we have simple formula delta H reaction is equal to summation of bond energies of reactants minus summation of bond energies of products. Okay so by putting the given values this is very simple calculation again we come to the same answer that is minus 101 kilojoule okay so this is one uh, representative problem which i have taken in this presentation you can solve the problems given in your textbook there are many solved problems in your textbook and also problems for the practice also given uh, below the chapter so this is about the bond energy Thank you.